Hello guys, today as requesting we are doing a little Hatha session. So just jump on your mat. If you like to use the block as always, just grab a block and we'll just get started straight away. Wonderful. So we'll just start into this kneeling position. We'll just start with sinking with your breath here. So starting to arrive on your mat and bring the awareness really inward. So just resting your hands onto your lap, relaxing the jaws, and just noticing your breath, how it is. Feeling the air in and out through the nose. Notice the length and the depth of each breath. See if you can relax the area that you find a little bit tense. Every exhalation really letting go of these unneeded tensions. Wonderful. And then we just start with a little bit of opening into the shoulders. So we'll just stay into your kneeling position. If you have any knee problem, as always, just take any other position. If you want to sit on a chair, you can, of course. So we'll first inhale, bring your arms overhead. And as you exhale, interlace your fingers and then press the palms up to the ceiling. Let's have a little movement into the shoulders. See if you can keep the shoulders down and rolled away from the ears. And then have this little drawn off the tailbone toward the ground. Find the lift into the pelvic floor. And trying as always not to arch into the lower back. So just keep your spine neutral. And raise a try to find opening into the shoulder girdle. Now just grab your right elbow and pull it across a little bit here. Just like if you're trying to bring a stretch into the, tri the tricep. And then from here, internally rotate the left shoulder. And then maybe you can bind. If you can't, just place your hands into the back body. Or you can grab a strap as always. Keeping the bicep toward the ear. And start to really lengthen each breath not too too much but just enough as you breathe in feel the rib cage really expand and as you breathe out release and then relax the arms we'll do the same to the other side Extend your left arm up, bend at the elbow to start. Just gently pull this elbow toward yourself. And trying to keep it there, internally rotate the right shoulder. Maybe binding, maybe not, it doesn't matter. Don't force into the shoulder. Try to keep this right shoulder open out and keep it down. We'll have about four more breaths in here. And then relax your hands. And then start to bring your hands to the floor. We'll just start with a few cat cows. So really spreading the fingers nice and wide. Take a deep in breath and then looking up, curving through the spine and exhale as you round the most you can, tucking chin to chest. And then again, looking up and rounding. And again, 
look up and exhale inhale exhale inhale come exhale round push 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 the floor away and then come to a neutral spine we do the side to side so hips to the right looking over to the right hip and into the left so now we're just bringing a bit of movement to the lateral side of the body just observe how it is and left wonderful and just relax here we'll go and step your right foot forward just to the inside of your hand into a low lunge so just keeping your right knee over to your ankle and then see if you can straighten the back leg and just really sit down again so that you just bring more stretch to the front of the hip flexor and then just find the lift of the pelvic floor just down to the toes of the back leg for now sink your hips down and then keep your hips down so lift the chest and bring it over to your hips beautiful we'll just hold in there for a few breaths so every exhalation just try to sink down more every inhale just feel the front of the body the chest lift and this deep stretch to the front of your left hip left thigh and stay here bring your hands to heart center this time extend the arms overhead interlace your fingers and see if you can squeeze the biceps towards your ears and keep opening the shoulders back again we try to keep the hips down wonderful and just really sink the hands down we'll just place your hands to the floor and just go and sink down and then rock into the front heel so flexing this foot and then hinging from your hips you can stay here you can fold forward if you want we'll try to keep the hips really square so aimed forward Let's feel a deep stretch behind this right leg. Relax the head. Beautiful. Two more breath here. Breath in. Breathe out. and then come back forward step back into this all four position and step the left foot forward we'll do the same here and knee over to your ankle sink your hips down great and then bend the right toe sink your hips more keeping the low abdomen as much as possible here doesn't mean tensing up too much remember you want to keep the lower ribs area really relaxed it's just deeper just on top of your pubic bone and then keep your hips down and bring the shoulders over on top of your hips here so you're really opening the whole front of the body your entire chain of the body still sink your hips down beautiful and same as before keep your hips down inhale extend the arms of the head interlace your fingers index fingers aimed up and hold in there for a few more inhale and exhales
Beautiful. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Release your hands down. And then just like before, straighten this front leg. Keep a slight bend if it's too intense. And then flex the foot. And hinging from your hips. We'll just slightly lean over to this front leg if it's available. And breathe in here. Wonderful, strong, deep breath. See if you can hear the sound of your breath. Beautiful, two more, inhale, two more, exhale. Great, and then just slowly relax. Step your left knee back into your all four position again. And then coming into a bent toes and sitting onto your heels, we'll just come to a reverse prayer to continue the opening of the upper body here. So bring your hands in reverse prayer behind your back. As always, if you can't, just press your knuckles against each other here. Otherwise, you can just wiggle around and we'll try to bring the little pinky finger against each other great and then lift the heart open through the chest we'll try to press the bottom of the palms of the hands toward each other and breathing in here so it can be quite intense into the toes and the plant of the feet so as soon as it's too much just come off the posture Draw the chin a little back again. Try not to curve. Draw the lower ribs in. Keep the tailbone slightly aimed down. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Great. And then relax. Really listen here. And then just go and place into a downward dog. Great. So first downward dog, as always, just move around in any way that you like. You can bend the toes, bend the knees, wiggle through the hips. Start to bring the gaze towards the navel if it's available. So you can really the back, lengthen the back of the head. But as always, if it's too much, you can just gaze toward the knees. And then have a little play with the lower ribs here. So bend your knees if you need, but try to lower the lower ribs toward the ground and then draw them back in. Okay, so, so that you find a different movement that it brings into the spine and the shoulders here. Again, lower, lower ribs down to the floor. And then the lower ribs away from your legs, from the floor. And again, just keep doing this. Try to keep the arms really long. No bend at your elbow as always. And now try to bring some movement with the shoulder girdle. So do some circle. Pushing away from the ground, forward and back. Just like a neck roll for the neck, but now you bring it into the shoulder girdle and then reverse the circle. Just observe how that feels. And eventually, eventually settle. Goes to the navel. Now we'll come to your three-legged dog. So make sure this hands and left foot is fully grounded. And then we'll start to point the right foot and then extend the leg up. Great. And then just keep holding here. Keep breathing. And then bend at the knee. Open through the hip. And then do a little bit of circle with your hip joint. Use the knee to draw this circle. 
beautiful and then release your foot down do the same to the other side ground the right leg down and then pointing the left leg still gazing to the navel extend your left leg up just back before but at your knee and do some little movement into the hip and out just go wherever it's available and eventually re-lengthen and relax down great drop your knees down and just come and sit into an extended child pose for a little here to really relax into the shoulders keep your arms extended out relax the forehead down sit onto your heels knees nice and wide great we'll come to a little twist if you want to use block for this one you can we'll start with a twisted low lunge and we'll extend it into your extended side angle so we'll just step your right foot forward if you want to use a block you can place it to the outside of your right foot and first straight into your high lunge and then just like before drop your back knee down and then come up bring hands to heart center and start to tuck your left elbow outside your right knee and just look over to the right shoulder so I can't press I've got my microphone here but try to have the thumb against your sternum if you want to go further we'll go and try to bring this left armpit to the outside of your knee and then extend this hand onto the block or onto the floor and just start to lengthen this back knee off the ground you can stay here maybe you want to extend the arm out maybe you want to try to bind here without forcing into the shoulder as always wherever you are make sure you breathe as always if your leg is off the ground your knee just keep it really active and then just look back down release and come back to the downward dog and do the same to the other side so this time we'll step your left foot in between your hands and then again come to your high lunge first just so that you create this nice length to the front of the right hip keep your hips sink down and then come up and find the twist of your choice so either elbow to the outside of the knee maybe just like before you extend your hand to the outside you want to feel a nice twist from your mid to upper spine and just breathe here keep breathing evenly wonderful and then bring the gaze back down come back to your downward dog beautiful just observe how this dog feels every time you come back it should feel a little bit more comfortable and then we're going to come to a warrior one so we'll step your right foot forward in between your hands and then we'll find first this high lunge so sink your hips down and then rotate your back foot down 45 degree angle now we'll try to keep squaring the hips forward again sink your hips down but press the back foot 
and extend the arms up. You choose for your hands if you want them apart, together, press against each other. As always, just explore different ways. Keep breathing. Wonderful. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, open to your warrior two. See if you can bring the shoulders in line with your hips as always. And exhale. We'll straighten this front leg. We'll come to a wide triangle. So really digging into this hip, pressing both feet really actively. And then extend, lengthen the side body, and then tilt. So use a block again if you want here. You can have the hands either on your sheen or on the ground. Beautiful. And with your next exhalation, hands down, come back to your downward dog. Okay, let's do the other side. So we'll lean and step your left foot. Come to your high lunge first, sink your hips down. Then ground your back foot down, 45 degree angle. And an inhale, squaring the hips forward. Try to push the right hip forward, but still pressing to the back leg. And breathe here. Look up if it's here. You want to feel a nice stretch into the right hip here. Nice opening. And then we'll open to our warrior two. Again, just like before, gazing forward and try to have the shoulders in line with the hips and the ankle sinking down where it's available. Great. And then inhale, straighten. Same as before, really digging this left hip into the hip socket. Reach forward and exhale, tilt. Takes the same variation that you did to the other side. Beautiful, deep breath in. And as you breathe out, hands to the floor. Come back to your downward dog again. And gaze to the navel. Wonderful. Okay, let's just walk to the front of the mat. Hmm. And we'll just bring your big toes touching. We'll just come to a flat back as you look forward. You can have the hands either on your shins, on the floor, coming onto your fingertips, whichever is available. Great. And then bringing your hands to your hips. On your inhalation, come up and we'll come to a little balance posture, dancer pose here. 
So just shift into your left foot and then start to bend your right leg and just grab the inside of your right ankle. So pointing the foot, we'll just stay here if you find that it's enough. Otherwise you can extend your left arm up and try to keep the knees in the axis so don't let it open out. And then we'll just slowly look forward and try to find balance here. Oops, not like me. And just keep kicking this back leg and keep lifting the heart. Try to feel this nice opening into the chest and the shoulder at the same time. And inhale, come up. Release the foot down. Ground the right foot. Grabbing inside of the left ankle. Knees toward each other. Inhale, extend your right arm out. And just explore. Keep the gaze focused. One point. Oops. Quite nice to have a wall. <laughs> Oh la 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 la, la 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 la, and relax down. <laughs> Beautiful. Just staying into this position, we come and bring this right knee up, and then pulling it towards your chest. Keeps the standing leg really strong and grounded. And then you can stay here, if you want you can come and grab the inside of the foot and so you have your arm on the inside and your knee to the outside here if you have a squishy floor like me it's a little bit hard so it could be even worse to place like a, a wooden piece of wood on the floor or a large book so you have a stronger base Wonderful. And then you can either keep your knee or your foot and then we'll open to the right. So you can, if you straighten the leg, just keep hold of the big toe and then look on the left side on the ground here. Wonderful. Two more breaths. Look back forward. Bring your knee or your leg and hold, point the foot. And relax, ground the right foot, same as before. Either grab your knee or the outside of the foot from the inside or the big toe. I'll hold the outside of the foot for now and then keep opening this left knee out so you have a nice external rotation into the hip joint, strong to the standing leg. And then you can either stay here or grab your knee and open. If you did straighten the leg, straighten it on this side as well. I'm just going to go that way because I've got the wall. But from here, you can open the leg. And then look over to your right. So looking in the opposite direction. Wonderful. Look back forward. Bring the leg back. Release. And hold here. And release. Beautiful. Come and bring the big toes touching. Not touching apart. So we will come to Parangustasana. So take a deep breath in. Feet parallel with the outside. Exhale. Fall forward. Grab your big toes with your two piece fingers as the ways from the inside. And then inhale. 
lengthen. Bend the knees if you need and exhale fold. Not using the pulling of the toes, just bringing the elbows to the side. If we are brave, see if you can drag the lower abdomen stronger and toward your lower spine. Really creating space into the lower abdomen. And then inhale, look up. We'll take Padahastasana, so hands underneath the ball of the feet, so that your toes touch the wrist. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Using the weight into the ball of the feet, the hands, and pulling down. Beautiful. Inhale to lengthen. Lift the head. And exhale. Release your hands and just come back to a downward dog. And gaze to the navel. This downward dog should feel pretty nice. Beautiful. Just hang in there. Bring the feet parallel with the outside as always. Feel this nice opening through the shoulders. Keeps the chin toward the chest. And leaning to your high plank position. Just hold in there for a few breaths. High on your toes, strong through the legs, pushing the ground away. Great. And then just drop your knees down to the floor and then we'll come to Parigasana. So we'll just step your right foot forward. I'm going to do it this way so you can see me. So we'll just step the right foot forward and then turn your left knee in. So the top of the shin is on the ground and then just bring the back foot parallel with the outside. So we'll open through the side of the body. Again, slight tuck under off the tailbone, active through the foot, and then from here, we'll look up to the ceiling, take an inhale, and as you exhale, open. So you want to feel the nice stretch from the whole left side of the body here. You're really active through this right leg, right foot. Wonderful. One more deep breath in. One more deep breath out. Inhale, come back up. Do the same to the other side. So from here, we'll just bend your right knee, top of the foot down, and straighten this left foot out. Inhale, come up. Try to bring this hips level or in line with your ankles. And then just as before, inhale, lengthen, look up, and exhale, lean, create this whole stretch through the side of the body. Some Indian people can touch the hand to the leg. Incredible. Wonderful. Let's keep breathing. And then inhale, come back and exhale, come down onto the floor to a frog position. So we'll continue the opening into the groin here. We'll bring the feet to the outside so that your ankles and knees are in line. 
nice opening into the inner thighs and groin and we'll try to keep your hips in line with your knees as always and just slowly come down onto your forearms and just breathe and from here have a little play with your pelvis so tuck in and out and it might not move much just like me just a few millimeter but observe how it feels deep into your hip joint and then after this tilt just keep the forward tilt so not curving to the lower back but the opposite direction draw the lower abdomen and tuck the tailbone under and breathe here So this is an internal rotation into your hip. They roll inward. Whilst your knee is outside, this is an internal rotation. Great. And then just take your time to come off the pause. Mm, beautiful. And come and sit into a child pose. So the breath and the compression. But, uh, Bolster underneath. Take about two more breaths here. So you should feel a nice opening from the right hip to the side of the body to your QL. This is one of the big um, back muscles attached into the top of the pelvis. Every time you take a step, it actives. So it's a nice little release here. And then slowly come up. We'll do the same to the other side. So straighten your right leg out. And find this 90 degree angle into the other side, keeping this right leg fully engaged. Breathing in as you lengthen and out as you find your on fold. And as you fold and keep the spine lengthening and then relax the head. And breathe here, each inhale. Try to find more length through the spine. Each exhale, try to relax more. Last couple of breaths here. And inhale, come up and exhale. All this. We'll make our way down to the floor. Come to a little glute position, a bridge position, a glute position, and then a little stretch into the glute. So bridge position first, feet parallel with the outside, and then just press the back of the shoulders down. Keep this action into the lower abdomen, tuck the chin and inhale, lift, grabbing hands underneath and come up. We only have one bridge, but if you want, you can pause the video and do more. And if you want, you can come up to your full wheel as always. We feel the floor under the whole plant of the feet. Mm. 
Wonderful. And then slowly relax down. And then we'll come to a glute stretch here. So placing your, your hip stretch. Place your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Open the knee out. You can stay here if it's enough. Or as always, you either grab behind your thigh or in front of your shin. And just hold here. Breathing fully, just calming down. I think I'm going to change side after because I'm really, really hot in the sun. <laughs> Take two more breaths here. Try to keep the shoulder drawing down towards the floor so you also feel a little bit more stretch into the right hip. And then slowly relax. We do the same to the other side, but like I say, I'm really hot. <laughs> so lift foot on top of your right knee, breathe and try to keep the top foot flexed again to allow the knee to be protected and open the right way. And hold in there, oh, that's much nicer. Two more breaths. Beautiful. And then we'll come to a little inversion. So you choose, as always, if you want the most relaxing wine, just keep your legs up so that you have the blood flow coming down. And then you can elevate your hips with a bolster a pillow, or you can come to your happy baby posture and grabbing the outside of the feet or you can come to your shoulder stand or your head stand we'll have about 10 breaths in your own time i'm gonna go with shoulder stand so take your time don't force and if you have shoulder stand as always Keep the feet pointed. Breathe the most you can. And gazing at your toes. Just allowing the blood flow to travel down towards the organs. And coming down to prepare to your Shavasana. Now if you have your shoulder stand, come to your Halasana. So hinging from your hips, bringing the feet on the floor if it's available, but again don't force. And maybe grabbing your hands behind. Now, as always, if you have your feet on the floor of the head, point the feet, point the toes. Wonderful. And wherever you are, start to control your way down to the floor. We'll come to the little fish pose to finish up here. So we'll straighten your legs out, place, placing your hands just underneath the tailbone here, or the lower back. Straighten your legs out, point the feet, and make your way onto your elbows. And then lift the sternum as you breathe in, relax the head back. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. And slowly relax your way down and find your Shavasana. So we go side to side, palms facing up to the ceiling. Bring the back of the shoulders down on the floor. Allow the feet to just fall on each side. As you breathe out, just let go of any resistance, any tensions. Just let the weight of the body really sink down. Be heavy and then become light. Now breathe into your belly naturally. Notice the state of your mind now if it's a little bit more calm. And in a state of your body. How does it feel? And then allow your mind to wander. Beautiful guys, stay here as long as you have as always. I will leave you here and I hope this little Hatha session brought you contentment and happiness and that you feel relaxed. As always just don't hesitate to ask me what video you like and I wish you a wonderful day and I will see you next time on the mat. Namaste.